Hey guys, welcome to Rumor Wave. So what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to basically divide up rumors and news. That way I don't have to keep saying, uh, take this with a grain of salt. You know, we're talking about news over here. All of a sudden I switch over to like rumor mode and I can understand how that kind of can annoy people because it would probably annoy me too. So what I'm going to do from now on, as rumors come out, I will make a series called Rumor Wave. That way if you guys click on Rumor Wave to watch this, you know to go in with just a sack or a bag of salt because everything should be taken that way. Nothing in this show is technically confirmed, but it's fun to look at rumors, it's fun to talk about rumors, and that's what we're gonna do. So first things first, Maximum PC, which is, to my knowledge, PC Gamers Magazine, talked about in basically a section about how uh, there's like, like tech things to look forward to, crappy tech things to not look forward to. And one of the big things they talk about this year is the Switch using Pascal hardware. So in this printed magazine, this popped up on the on the Switch Reddit. If you're not subscribed to the Switch Reddit and you're, you're looking forward to the Switch, go over right now and subscribe to that Reddit. I'm on there a, a good bit, like reading. I'll post on there too. It's a good place to talk about rumors and stuff as well. In this magazine, they say at the bottom that it is using Pascal hardware. And... People are confused. I'm a little confused even too because it's a weird thing to put out there in a printed material. Now, if it's in, if it's on the internet, you can obviously delete it if you want. But if it's on printed material, your 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 credibility is out there on paper. You can't delete that. People will have that. So of course now people are thinking, oh, it must be true. However, I think there's a good possibility, guys, that this is them taking an educated guess because it makes so much sense to use Pascal, but keep in mind we're talking about Nintendo, who doesn't always make sense when it comes to hardware stuff. So my thoughts on this, I don't think they know. I think they're taking a guess. Now, sometimes publications get information ahead of time because remember, this is the January edition. It could be maybe going on sale everywhere at a certain time maybe somebody got an early copy of it, maybe it showed up on stands too early. Sometimes, believe it or not, magazines are even street data because they have information that is not out yet. I've seen it before. Uh, there were certain places I've worked at, friends have worked at, where they get a box that says, do not put this on the shelf until this date, and it was magazines, and it's street dated. So, believe it or not, there's a chance they do have information, and they had to kind of keep it to themselves, and somebody either put it on the shelf, or maybe not. Like I said, maybe they are just guessing publications, radio shows, all these places get information early and then they have a date they're allowed to put it out. Maybe they didn't get a date and they were just allowed to put it out. Or maybe Nintendo was not anticipating them to have it out at the beginning of the month and maybe like midway to the end of the month after the presser. But it's interesting to note that PC Gamer, like I said, owns this magazine from what I could tell. And that is kind of their credibility on the line. But we'll keep an eye out and we'll obviously we'll hopefully know next Friday if it's right. And Obi-Wan continues his days of Switch miss with their leaks and rumors. And I gotta be honest, guys, this day six for Switch miss. And okay, I want to start this by saying I am okay with Obi-Wan. People seem to think that the way I talk about him, I don't like him. I've watched his videos. I honestly think he's a nice guy. I don't, I think I would get along with him fine if we played a game online. But I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna tell it how I see it, okay? I'm not gonna pretend like something's not like not good, you know. And I gotta say, his switch his switch leak today, not good, not good at all. And all right, if I make fun of someone, by the way, guys, I'm not doing it to be mean. I'm doing it for entertainment. I think any YouTuber understands that. So you see me make fun of somebody, it's not because I hate them or don't like them. I'm just having fun. So here we go. He comes out and says, "Well, I'll, you know, I'll show you what he says." Wanna hear it again? Oh, sorry about that. I thought that was a real mime in my house. The, the special effects there were top notch. I just wasn't sure. The other day I watched a Switch Miss and there was a Resident Evil one and there was a zombie on the screen. Whew. So his first leak made no sense to me. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I was out of the loop on this one. Apparently people seem to think that when you put that, that, that Joy-Con in, it makes that Switch noise. Um, no. Why, why would it do that? If, all right, so if it made that noise every time and you're on an airplane and you're on a bus, you, people are going to get so mad at you because that is that would become the most annoying noise ever. I, 
when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, they're doing that because it's marketing. It's a sound effect that makes. The only time I could even see you would make that noise is if you turn it on and it's part of the UI. And even then, I'm sure you can mute that. So that was the first leak, and I was like, well, that was that was a dumb leak. But okay, I'll give him time, because he's like, all right, we'll talk about the next leak. I've heard they're not working on another Donkey Kong side-scrolling game. Okay, so a Donkey Kong game is not coming to the Switch. Okay, I guess that counts as a leak, does it? Does that count as a leak? I was under the impression he was going to tell us a game that was coming to it. If he had just said, hey, Metroid, Retro Studios is working on Metroid, it's coming. I'd be like, oh, well, damn, you know, that's, that's, that's a great, that's a great leak right there. No, he just told us a game was not coming to the Switch, which at this point is like me saying a Kid Icarus game is not coming to the Switch. Now, Donkey Kong, to me, would have been a little more likely, obviously, because it's a Nintendo IP that at least everyone knows. It's popular. It's in Smash Bros. as well as Kid Icarus, but neither one of them is probably coming at launch anyway. I think... I See, that's tough. See, the good news is, then, if they're not working on Donkey Kong, maybe they are working on a Metroid game. We don't know. However... I think it's. I think most people are going to agree that this was not his best work with Switch Miss. However, I have a feeling he probably got to like 10 or 11 leaks and was like, well, we got to fill up 12, so let's just give him this. That's fine. I am going to wait till I get all 12 leaks from him to judge the entire thing as a whole. Uh, already he's given us VR, saying that's coming. That's fine. Shin Megami, great. I would like to play a Shin Megami game on the Switch. So I will give him the rest of the time. Hopefully this was just the low point of his Switch miss and we'll leave it at that. And more rumors are swirling around the Xbox Scorpio and the Ryzen booth because they had on display in their Vega and Ryzen booth at CES, they had the Scorpio poster on display, full effect front and center, which is having a lot of people believe that the new Ryzen CPU and the new Vega GPU are going to be in that system in some form. Now this has mainly gained a lot of speculation, mostly because it needs to reach six teraflops, uh, and that's not going to be simple with the older technology they're using. I think it's completely possible because they can customize the hell out of that chip, obviously, to make it work, but it really comes down to that. I think they want to use the Vega and the Ryzen CPU GPU because it will use less power, because they've been talking about how the Ryzen CPU is going to be more efficient per core especially but again we won't know they've just all they've told us is it's going to use amd ati it's going to reach six teraflops and it's going to supposedly give us 4k at a steady 30 to 60 frames 60 frames uh, probably not 30 frames probably yes we'll probably get 30 frames and if you missed it larkate dale told us that the beyond beyond good and evil 2 trailer all cgi is going to be at the switch event because the trailer to their knowledge is done it's ready to be shown and it will be a switch exclusive like talked about before for about 12 months according to them and we apparently it's going to follow up the presser at the end of the presser when they're showing games coming out that's going to be one of them uh that makes sense honestly i mean if they're going to show us a beyond good and evil 2 anything it would probably be a cgi trailer to get the whole event kicked off i don't think we'll see gameplay if they've been designing the cgi trailer for this if they did have gameplay, we would have seen gameplay probably first rather than a CGI trailer. Although, who knows? Treehouse, I'm hoping the Treehouse has a lot of surprises, including third-party games like these. Oh, and to build an even stronger case for Mother 3 actually being at this event, the developers, 1UP Studio, they've been invited to the Switch. They shared on Twitter yesterday or day before that they did get an invite. They took a picture of it, put it up. Uh, after all the jealousy hit, everyone was like, oh, great. That probably means Mother 3 is, is showing up, so... Emily Rogers, Lara Kate Dale are probably right about this. They wouldn't, I don't think they would, they would basically offer these developers an invite for the very limited Switch event seating for no reason. More than likely it will be announced. They'll probably maybe talk to them a little bit afterwards to get like interviews or anything with them. So six more days, six more days, six more days. And that's it for Rumor Wave, guys. I hope you had some fun. It doesn't have to be as serious as Newswave because, honestly, this crap really isn't news until it actually is confirmed. So, again, it's fun to look around at the rumors and see what's what. So, definitely comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Spawnwave Media. I like to talk on there about technology and Switch stuff, so check that out as well. Guys, I'll see you tomorrow for something, I don't know, streaming, gaming. Maybe I'll tell you about myself tomorrow. We'll see. I'll see you then.